Hi YouTube, I am back again with another video. I promised you I would show you my newest file effects that came in the post about two weeks ago. Now I was very lucky to get it on eBay from a site called Topman43 in the UK and I got it for roughly 30 euro which wasn't bad at all. Now it came in its own box, perfect condition. It's the Filofax Ranger Rugged Look Faux Leather Organizer and it's in the personal size which I was delighted with. I wasn't sure after buying it whether it was personal or pocket size as it wasn't stated but I liked it so much I was going to be happy with it one way or another. So the box is in absolute perfect condition. These I believe are no longer available. And this file effects ranger actually was filled with all the original papers in it. It was from 2002. So I consider myself very lucky to have got that. Now I'll give you a quick look at it. Of course, on the outside, on this side, it has the purse part, which a lot of people use for putting their coins in and their change. It has a lovely little zip portion for the coins and the notes can go in there. Now, on the other side, it has another little pocket. It can be very handy for receipts or anything that you wish. Now, I don't plan on using this one for as a purse for money because it is a rather big and bulky and heavy, so I would find it too difficult to carry it around with me every day. So, this is my home Filofax, and I bring my red pocket metropole with me when I'm going anywhere and that has all the important dates and appointments written into it and I will open up hope you can see this okay the first thing I have are the pockets on the side now very little in it at the moment I just have some of my sticky posted notes in there with a handy little rule on the side for measuring very nice and inside under the flap I have some pink post-its which I usually cut in half. I'll show you how I do that in a few moments. Now on my dashboard at this side um, I decided to stick the notelets and the post-its on the inside so they wouldn't get torn or, or fussed when I would be opening the diary. So I just have a few of them there and some more of the little pink ones here. As you can see now, the cover here is the 2014 Dodo Pad. I had this purchased before I purchased the file effects. Well, I had the file effects bought, but before it arrived, I decided that I liked the Dodo Pad and I liked the way it was laid out. And you'll see in a moment what I thought of it when it came. So that's why the cover is there. It's quite strong and it protects the rest of the sheet. This lovely little bicycle, um, bicycle clip it's very attractive. I bought it on eBay as well on another site and it's just cute. It holds the pages together. So on this side of the dodo pad we have the 2015-2014 calendar and they're just the other notes that go with it. Now my first part is the diary. Now this is my diary. I have decorated it with some stickies. I have beautiful dress here because I was at a lovely lunch last friday so it's actually only just started i only started on thursday thursday i had the wrong day it's actually on this i must change it it was thursday the 20th and friday the 21st i had that beautiful lunch so that dress is there and the handbag to remind me of the wonderful time we had it was a fundraiser for a cancer care center in my locality now things that i've gone to i have highlighted with orange and they're just tell me they're ticked off Next week, this is the present week that we have at the minute, I did change the date. So I have 2014 written over the 2002, just in pen, didn't work very well. Did the same for the days of the week. And again, I have some appointments written in and I have blood tests, some things like that, ring about results. And now for my dodo sheet, here was my calendar sheet. Sorry, I'm after moving you there. That is the size of the dodo one and I was very unhappy with it because I mean they're so tiny the squares I just decided that they're just not going to be enough to write in so I'm using it 
as a sort of a dashboard for every week. So I put my February goals in there. I just wrote 10 down quickly. I have a, my to-do list. These are my once a week jobs. So I have just washed the floors downstairs, Hoover stairs, Hoover downstairs, Hoover upstairs, clean the bathrooms, dust the cobwebs and clean the windows. And then my daily to-dos. My daily to-dos for my everyday house for my wellness and for my work. So I have every day pick up the kitchen, pick up the living room, make the beds and open the windows and wellness, exercise, eat well, juice and drink. And then my work is my YouTube. Now here's my today marker, bookmarker in there. And down here we have Thursday and Friday, very little on for today, Friday. And I like my little stickers. Now over here this side, I have just a few happy faces stuck on. A little bun or cupcake there because I had lunch out with a friend and that was for this week now I'll just go ahead to next week to show you what I've done as we're changing over to March next week on oh actually tomorrow is the first of March so I decided to write down my March goals in advance I have nine written down here and as I'm Irish I have my shamrock up there as well so a <laughs> shamrock is looking very smart there for the 17th of March. Now over here I have some appointments written in that are happening for next week and I did the same thing with my dodo sheet. I'm just using it more or less as a dashboard where I can stick things on when I need them. Now um, next part over here uh, this is reminding me to get my hair done of course because it's curling tongues. Oh yeah and I meant to show you actually one of my February goals one of my February goals was to hopefully have 60 subscribers by the end of February. So that means by today. So wishful thinking. I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. Now let's march. I did these with a much darker marker, which I'm pleased with. So I continued right through my diary with a thicker black marker, marking the new dates, the correct dates on each day. And I left the dodo flyleaf in each week so that... I can either leave it flat or I can fold it back and see as I go along. I can use it as an extra place to scribble notes on or just as a dashboard like I have at the minute. So that continues on to the rest of the year. And the next section in my ranger is notes. Now here on the notes we have the yearly goals. I just have goals for my house, my work and my personal goals. Just some short achievable goals that I think I might be able to do. The next section I have in the notes is my wish list. And my wish list is just things I would like around the house. So I have a lovely pair of shoes on the bottom just to remind me that um, you can always wish for nice things. It's no harm. So the next thing then is my projects, my YouTube projects. And a lovely little mirror here to remind me about my videoing and my blogging and some tags and here I have a list of all the videos that I actually have up on YouTube at the minute and the date I put them up and I'm also going to keep a list uh, quite soon now of my subscribers hopefully they'll be gaining every day so there are my YouTube videos I just ruled them using the ruler that came with the Vilofax now I forgot to mention of course all of these weekly, the Filofax weeklies were included. All of these little notelets, the internet addresses, the notes, they were all included and the coloured paper was included. And also in the financial section at the back, all of those financial pages were also included. And a two spare set of Standard size multicolored refill stationery. This is lined paper economy pack, 45 leaves, and that's the lovely colored the blue, the yellow, and the pink. Excuse me for a moment. Hello? He's not actually here at the minute, he's um.